Nice mess, bro. Give me the money. No, man. Hello? Who the f are you? The super high team. This week gives us power. We could save the world. Are you on drugs, sir? Hell yeah, man. I found it! I've never seen a superhero. When they face me, we'll see who the hero is. Yes, boss. I'll bring him to you, dead or alive. Back to the zoo. We've got oh, French boss. comedian, actor extraordinaire, Kev Adams. Welcome to the zoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so Welcome. happy to be here, guys. Come awesome. on, guys. Give it up for him. Yeah. yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Wow. <laughs> All right. Listen, like that, I want to be high all the time if I'm going to get superpowers like wow. that. Yeah. Well, you Beat do. up people. I mean, <laughs> well, listen, you know the right guys to get super high, and now you know the guy who stars in super high. Right. <laughs> exactly. So then, I'm glad to be here, guys. It's my first time on an American TV. Wow. Oh! And it's on LA TV. Yeah, yeah, it's it's on LA TV. Let's go. Right, you're, starting, you're starting small, and you're going to work your way to the top. And no, then no, no the top I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to bring this to the top. Yeah! yeah, yeah. That's what we got. Oh, <laughs> Tell us about Super High, how the idea came together. Actually, um, I used to smoke weed. No. <laughs> <laughs> I tried it once. You know, it's yeah. the, no, no, no. Actually, uh, I met the Black Pills people, and they told me we want to launch a new network, kind of Netflix-like, but, you know, smaller and with little episodes, 10-minute mm -hmm. episodes, and we want something efficient and politi politically incorrect, okay. you know? Mm -hmm. You say that, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay, politically. Cool, uh -huh. cool. Because you love, so please. So, <laughs> no, I love <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Because it has to be, I mean, it's, it's very accurate, actually. Yeah. No, because sometimes I feel bad because I, I feel that, you know, American people, they're, they're looking at me like <laughs> he doesn't know no, how to that's do. No, 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 no. We are politically incorrect sometimes, yeah. but that's why I, I awesome. laugh. Because Naughty I'm here. like, you're in the right show love for that it. comment. You love so. it. I feel that I'm in the right show already. You are, actually. Okay. And uh, yeah, I met those people and, and they told me, look, uh, you have like, it's you can do whatever you want. Like, it's totally open. Really? So I was like, all right, awesome. So we start, we started, uh, wrote this show with my partner, Edouard Pluvieux, who's a French guy, obviously. Oh. And, uh, and yeah, and we wrote this show uh, uh, quickly and we shot it in LA in January and boom, it's on. Where it's, did the idea from it come from? Because it was, I mean, it's a unique idea. I'm sure they've done some sort of take on this before, but Actually, it's, this it's, is hilarious. It's Edouard's, my friend ID. Uh, we used to dream about uh, a high superhero, you know, like mm -hmm. someone who would be, you know, we love the movie Hancock. You remember this movie with uh -huh. Will Smith? Yeah, of course. And, uh, and we, we, you know, he's always drunk and everything. And we were thinking the, the, the weed is taking so much place right now in LA yes. yeah. and in California. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine if there's a weed, when you're smoking, you have superpower. And as soon as we had this idea, we were like, boom, that's yeah. what we want to do. Ooh. You know, one amazing thing about this series is that uh, even though it's a digital series, it looks so, the production value yeah. is so high. Yeah. I mean, you guys got all these special it's effects. Super high. And, uh, <laughs> 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 He's good, right? Even with the language. That's what good. was it? I mean, when you guys were deciding to do it this way, were you guys thinking, okay, most things online have a low production value. Yes. Let's try to you know, some surpass that. To be honest with you, we, we watched everything we could find on the internet and on like digital shows. Mm -hmm. And we figured out that even like Marvel, they have like an internet show. Right. And you know, when you see it, the production value is not that good because you know, it's the internet and they don't put a lot of money right, on right. it. And yeah, on this show, we wanted like, not a lot of special effects, but big special effects, like really good ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I'll let you watch the show, and, and I think we, we, we made it really good. Did well, you have to get high as rehearsal? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. was that where you were in the <laughs> joint? Of course, of course. Oh. That's why I love treating this show, because I was high all day long. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, yeah. of course, that was props, but yes. <laughs> craft yeah, services was... must have been amazing when you got the munchies then. <laughs> yeah. No, they actually had to double up on the craft services. Exactly. Oh, that's yeah. pizza. Mm. Um, you are now in a, in a part of your life and career where you're here in the United States, yes. kind of starting again. You're coming from France where it's you're- It's not even kind, it's like starting, starting, and again. starting again. So what is that like coming from France where you're a big star, you're a big comedian, you're very well known, and now you're coming to the States and you're having to you know, build yourself up? Look, since I'm a kid, I think what I love most, like even more movies, even more TV shows, even more, it's challenge. I love the challenge. And when I started in France, I was 16 years old and I was doing stand-up at 16 years old. And everybody was telling me, come on, Kev, it's impossible. You're too young and everything. And, uh, and that was a good challenge. And now I'm, I'm looking for new challenges. And I think here I found my new challenge. I think there's uh, a real uh, place for like, there's a room for new actors and new international actors. And now I think people in this city, they, they realize that 
we don't need only American people. Right. We can make crazy movies with in, international actors. Yeah. And I think the success of, of shows like Narcos, right. it's a great, great thing for us, you right. know, for foreigners, because suddenly we can be uh, also uh, the star, because yeah. for a long time here in the US, only American people could be the hero, but right, right. now we're going to be the well, hero. Well, now you're the French yeah. hero. Yes. Yes. We came at the perfect time because we need diversity and different perspectives now more than ever because exactly. of what's happening in this country. It's exactly. like people like you who bring a new perspective and a new view of not only comedy but of the world around you. It's very important. I totally agree. Yeah. Now, I totally talk, agree. Um, talking about challenge, we were talking about this before starting. Um, what is the challenge for you as a comedian to have, having to do your jokes now or whatever in English? Is that a it's, thing that you bump into like, oh, I'm not so funny or something. <laughs> of course. I mean, I of know. course, at first, when I started stand-up in English, uh, I, j I used to go up on stage, and then people were watching me like, who the f*** is this guy? We don't, <laughs> we don't understand one word, you know? And after I worked, and first, I, was, I used to translate my joke, and then I realized that that Wait, wasn't... How did work, you yeah. translate them? With Google Translate, or somebody was helping you No, out? no, no, I was translating, because I learned English, you know, and okay. I was like, all right, I'm going to take my jokes in French, and I'm going to translate it in English. And actually, you, you, that, that, that was like always, always... Literal. Uh, awful. Yeah. You cannot imagine. <laughs> like, I was, all right, this joke is awesome in French, I'm going to kill it tonight, because and I go timing? up on stage. Because it's about culture. Right, right. You know? The humor you, is different, no? Of course, yeah. you know it. You dated a French guy. You, you told did? me before. Yeah, I did. But Aye. like, no, I'm saying in Mexico, our humor, I'm from Mexico, it's very different from American humor. And sometimes I don't feel funny in English. And French humor is really different from Mexico humor and from US how humor. How is French so. humor different? Yeah, how? I don't know. We, we don't love about the same thing. We, we didn't grow up with the same shows. Right. We didn't, you know what I mean? It's like it's a whole cult culture that you have to learn and you have to, to, to understand. So I took time. I watched TV yeah. and everything. And now I'm, 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 I'm learning and I'm writing only about what I leave here. For example, I just wrote a new joke and I'm, I'm telling you guys. Uh, <laughs> all right. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> yes, bro. Ready. It's coming now. <clears throat> So I just, I just, uh, I didn't know what hangout mean, meant, you know, I didn't uh -huh. know this expression. We don't have this in France. We okay. don't say hangout. And here everybody used this all the time. <laughs> let's hang out, let's hang out. And then I met it. The first time I heard this, this expression, I was with a girl and she told me, hey, you know what? Let's hang out. Let's go to my house. Let's hang out. And then we went to her house and we had sex. <laughs> so, <laughs> so to me, that was like, you, you know, obvious. Out. And then the day after, I met this big black comedian, and he told me, hey, let's go to my house, we're going to hang out. <laughs> and I was like, ah, I, know. I think I'm going to stay here, man. Brilliant, brilliant. I'm going to stay here. Well, it's part of you're, you. using, you're using the art culture like, against us, sort of, like exactly. what you don't know. And exactly. his own experience, too. Kevin, you want to hang out? <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> Different, different kind of hangout. Different kind of hangout. Yes. L listen, in, so in Fran France is a very multicultural place, especially it in Paris, is. right? Of course. Now here in LA you have different, it's also very multicultural, but it's different. You know, you have uh, maybe more Asians, more Latinos, Mexicans, yes. and stuff like that. Uh, how has it been navigating these different cultures that you might not see as much in Paris? Actually, I love it. And to be honest with you, I learned Spanish at school and mm -hmm. I used to hate it. I used to be like, oh, I don't want to speak Spanish. I don't like it. It's too close from French and everything. Cool, super bonito. Let, let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Latin girl. I interrupt all the time. <laughs> I started. I started watch uh, Narcos, okay. and to be honest, now it's my dream to speak Spanish, oh. just to be like es una rata. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? Like, like how how they talk in the of show. Right. But yeah, I met the, the the Latino culture really here, and I fell in love with it because you know it's. I think it's the power of LA. Mm -hmm. I'm, I don't know for the rest of the US, but here in LA, it's right. like it's a real power. That's why. Yeah, I'm, I'm really supportive and I, I'm, I'm glad to learn about it every day more. Mm -hmm. Kevin, awesome. speaking of love, are you single? Are you married? What's the... Uh... Yeah, I have a girlfriend. You have a girlfriend? Yes. Is she here in the studio? No, uh, she's not here. Don't worry. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> was she ever... But we won't hang out, but don't worry. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> now, was she ever on set during Super Hype because your co-star, what's her name? <laughs> um, uh, Sarah McDaniel. She's very distracting. No, lady. She's uh, complicated to shoot with. Uh, I can imagine. Trust me. <laughs> Wait. You know what? During the Q&A, I kind of I kind of picked up on that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Wait, but <laughs> that's not really the complicated part because in the first episode, you you were having sex with a really hot blonde girl. That even turned me on. I was like, really? Oh yeah, wow. she was very sexy and voluptuous. Yeah, she's really sexy. Hot How did it? you control? To be honest, your like, uh, body parts? it's funny because the show starts with this scene uh -huh. where I have sex with this girl, and my you girlfriend, my girlfriend oh. was like, 
like, uh, you know what, I'm gonna watch your show. It's important, <laughs> I wanna support you. And then she started to lose and then boom, there is the sex scene and she was like, you know what, I'm not gonna watch this show. <laughs> I, I, I don't wanna watch it. So yeah, that was hard to shoot those scenes, but I think, you know, we wanted to be efficient. And sometimes when you watch a show on your phone, because mm -hmm. it's for mobile, you know, this, this, this app, when you watch a show, sometimes you're like, all right, you know what, I'm gonna go to this to right. the important part, you know. Mm -hmm. So when it started, and then you have a sex, sex scene. You anyone will, will yeah. be like, what? What? what okay, what is <laughs> yeah. it? What Hold is, up. So yeah, that was to catch the audience, but right. that was hard to shoot. Yeah, el gancho, el gancho. Is she not in really. Uh, yeah, actually now she's in Egypt because she's working in, in New York and she's traveling a lot. Okay, nice. nice. So you, yes. you, you know, one of the things that you, you said earlier LA. is that Black Pills, the platform, yes. and, and I'm very interested in some of the other things they're doing, um, you know, they said that you can be politically incorrect and edgy. You know, we're living in very kind of sensitive times, but I think that there's a place for really edgy, politically incorrect humor. When I saw you the day after the screening, I go, don't let Hollywood try to hem you in. Of course. You know, and you can use your culture and your accent to just be like, act like confused. Like whenever they give you a direction and say, Definitely. you can't do this, you didn't understand. And you speak in your French accent. Yeah, you exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> of course. But that's what, that's exactly what I'm trying to do here. I mean, I'm trying to stay myself and bring like the, the French culture here mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and, trying to adapt also to the, to the American culture that mm. I love, you know? So it's, it's hard. I, I, two years ago, I didn't know how to speak English. Really? Wow. Yeah, so, you know, it's, it's you like... You learned only two years ago? Yeah. How That's did you learn? That's impressive. I, wow. if, I thank you. How did <laughs> I, did I learn? Uh, actually, uh, exactly, I'm gonna learn Spanish because of Narcos, because uh -huh. I learn English only with TV shows and movies. Wow. wow. Yes, just watching TV shows, watching movies every day, with subtitle, without subtitle, and then suddenly Incredible. it comes. Yeah. Oh my God, I love that. Because I learned how to speak English by listening to songs when I was little. So I know that works, but I don't know that I could learn French by doing that. The both yeah. of you speak English better than like me and Bruno uh, could ever speak Spanish <laughs> or French. <laughs> yeah. True. Wait, but you know, so th listen, this was yes. a plan of mine. What, what is it? Because you guys know that I write on the side and, uh -huh. and all this stuff. And so uh -huh. when I was watching Superhigh, I'm like, wow, this guy gets the humor. And then I spoke to him afterwards and, and we have a mutual friend and... I'm like, I had written a script that's very edgy about uh -oh. these guys that think they're vampires. And I'm thinking, I want to get it in the hands of Keb. Rewrite uh -huh. the script to make it, instead of a Cuban guy from Miami, a French guy that moves to Miami. Got so it. So he can keep his accent. Cuban actor is gonna, are going to hate me. Yeah. <laughs> no, the, the other guy will be Cuban. The other guy. Okay, So cool. there's two guys. You'll be. Okay. So I'm like, let me have him on the show so I can give him the script. Because you can't go up to these guys in the middle of the street and yeah. run up. He'd think I was crazy. He'd be like calling security. <laughs> but I got you on the nah. show. Uh-oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, oh cool! I'm giving you the script. Here you go. Awesome, bro. <laughs> this is a script out of a fridge. It's the first time <laughs> I have a cold script out, out of a fridge. It's, it's literally awesome. a cold read. It's, it's like, yeah. it's it's like, like a cold, cold read. read. But it's, it's a hot script. Awesome. It's, yeah. it's hot, yes. Oh, you know, it's, it's I don't understand this joke, for example. A cold read, I don't know what it is. You know? it. It's like the first time you read a script. Okay, it's cold read. A cold so, read. Yeah. All right. So okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again and I'll do the joke. Give it to me. Out of the fridge. Thank you. I'm gonna do a cold read. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> We're so proud of you. We're Actually, that real. works. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. I'm happy to be here. Now, listen. We We're happier happy that you're here. But t t one, one thing to go out on I'll is read it for sure. Yeah. Trust no, please, me. please. No, no, no I, thank you. I, 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 Ooh, I, I, wait. I take it seriously. I do want to know because you made a joke about gay men and you know how a lot of the people here in LA seem like they're gay men. What are the gay men like in France, honey? I, I need to find a French man. I love that accent. I that's don't think that's a joke. I think that's a bit of a. True. It's a little bit of truth. No, I love I love this part on, on in my English uh, act when I when I talk about it because you know in my team in France uh, I, there's a lot of gay people and I love hanging out with them. <laughs> hanging out, okay, cool. <laughs> Just stay cool, okay. <laughs> Just hanging out okay. in the real <laughs> definition. Dennis is and, and I love them and and you know I wanted to talk about it. So yeah, I'm just saying when I'm on stage, I'm saying here in California, people of LA, people of California, you have a special way of life, you know, special way to live. You love to take care of yourself, right. you know, be old yes. town all year long, eat organic food, yeah. avocado, have a little running in the morning <laughs> oh with your dog, you know, and, ha and then have a macchiato at the Starbucks and everything. <laughs> and and I, I'm just saying, we have the same kind of people also in France, we call them gay people. Right. You know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but here it's everyone, you know, it's people of California. It's so true. Do you I have think a big f gay fan base, a lot of men hitting on you because of the accent and whatnot? Yes, yes, I, 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 yes, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> yes, I have a lot of gay friends. I don't know if I have a lot of gay following me, but you know, I think, I think uh, what happened with gay people lately, it's, it's awesome. And okay. I'm glad for my friend and I want to defend them. And I think when you talk about them and you make joke about them, which are not mean, right. then suddenly 
it, there, it, it's like... We embrace like, you. Exactly. Right. Embrace we embrace awareness. You. And we want to hang out with you. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Not too much, but well, yes. Speaking of that, Americans need to start doing that with French people because Americans sometimes make fun of French people a little too much, of right? Of course. Like yeah. the Freedom Fries, remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, that it's, was so it's, stupid. It's, but, you know, there's a lot of cliche here yeah. in the U.S. Right, like right. the French guy is, is, is going to be a rat who's cooking some oh, stuff. Oh, that's romantic. Yeah, the French lover and everything. Bringing flowers and taking you to the Eiffel Tower. Yes, when you're going to go to Paris, you're going to be disappointed, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> There's no rat, no French lover, there's nothing. No, <laughs> That's what you're doing.